College athletics will soon change forever thanks to a new pay structure for schools and athletes. That's because the NCAA and the nation's five biggest conferences have agreed to pay nearly $2.8 billion to settle a host of antitrust claims. The legal settlement will compensate past athletes for prior restrictions on earnings from their name, image, and likeness. The agreement also sets the stage for a future revenue-sharing model that could allow universities to pay student-athletes directly. As soon as the fall of 2025, CBS News reporter Torian Small joins me here on set for more. Torian, walk us through the details of this settlement. Yeah, like you said, the timeline there is $2.8 billion over 10 years to around 14,000 students in damages. Who is eligible for a payday? Student athletes enrolled at these colleges between the years of 2016 and 2020. Uh, but the obvious lead here is that this sets up a new compensation model. Uh, schools will now have the ability, and it's certainly not a requirement, but they're allowed to uh, set aside up to $21 million a year in revenue in order to share that with students. For the first time in over a century, really, for the NCAA, they're allowing their schools to effectively pay their student athletes. And how do we, I mean, how do people guess that will change the way it, I mean, I can imagine a thousand different ways, but how do people guess that's going to change college sports as we know it? Well, the idea of amateurism is out the window now. I talked to uh, Steve Berman. He was one of the counsel for the plaintiffs in this suit, and he said that's dead. He had been pursuing this for two decades, a compensation suit against the NCAA, and they've always held that as a hard-to-chip-at defense. But now, after the 2016 ruling uh, on name, image, and likeness, uh, this essentially breaks down those walls and opens the door to these students now becoming professionals. Now, what this looks like for other schools outside of the 69 that's a part of the Power Five, this could be a bit more difficult for them to sustain. They're not getting as much money as these bigger schools. And competitiveness, recruitment could be on the line here. That was a major issue that was brought up by some of the experts at the uh, sports center or sports law center at Villanova. Because they worried if you don't have a, a whole bunch of money in your football program and you can't pay these athletes, then they're not going to come play ball for you, essentially. And, the, and there's a host of other concerns uh, beyond that. Uh, there's no bargaining, collect, uh, collective bargaining uh, that we see in professional sports with these students. With the cap of $21 million a year in revenue share, how do you prioritize which programs will be uh, optional for pay for students? Would football and men's basketball be able to see their student athletes get paid while women's basketball, right. other sports not? And the whole argument was that stu that these athletes were losing out because the schools were making gobs of money on their play, but they weren't being able to share in it. At, let me last question. Um, uh, there are other lawsuits, right? This was to settle one suit. But what else is out there? Yeah. So Berman told me that this could most likely resolve uh, a suit out of Colorado, a similar antitrust suit out of Colorado. But there are still lingering uh, lit litigation around other challenges to NCAA rules. The ability for student athletes to transfer out of school is also under question of NCAA uh, name, image and likeness restrictions on new recruits, as well as this one suit out of Pennsylvania that poses the question, should student athletes be considered employees of these universities. Uh, and then ultimately, like any other settlement, these athletes now have the option to opt out of uh, this class action suit to pursue uh, 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 their own claims against the NCAA. Would that be as advantageous? Probably not, though. That's fascinating and complicated. Torian Small, thank you so much.